we are going to figure out what actually conducts a current. We have a light bulb plugged into the socket, and all we have to do is touch these two metal prongs together inside these plastic tubes and the light will come on. If we did that with our fingers, we'd probably get shocked and not feel so good. But if there are, there's a current that can be conducted, not produced, but conducted between the two prongs, then the light bulb should come on. We have sodium chloride, it's an ionic compound. We have table sugar, C12H22O11, that's a disaccharide, it's not dead. It is two sugars stuck together, but it's a molecule. And water, which everybody says, you know, water conducts a current. So let's find out. Hmm, nothing seems to happen. To conduct a current, you need to have mobile ions. Metal wires have electrons that can move, and therefore they have mobile ions. Here we're testing the solid sugar. It doesn't, the light doesn't come on, so it doesn't conduct a current. Again, no mobile ions. Ionic compounds are made of ions, but the light doesn't come on. Why is that? Well, the ions are not mobile. They're in a fixed alternating plus minus situation. So now let's make some solutions. I'm gonna put sugar uh, and water together to form something called sugar water. And then I'll put the water into the salt and we're gonna call this salt water. This is rocket science here. So now, even though it's not completely dissolved, if you tasted it, the one on the right would taste like sugar water, and the one on the left would taste like salt water. We put the light bulb in there and nothing happens, so there's no mobile ions. However, with this one, the light comes on. This means that the sodium chloride, the ions actually move away from each other and are surrounded by water molecules. So the ions are independent of each other. They dissociated, and we have free-floating or mobile ions in the salt water but not the sugar water. Let's see what conducts. The left one is hydrochloric acid, the middle one is ethanol, and the right one is copper sulfate. These are all aqueous solutions. Most of what you see is water. Well, if they produce mobile ions, the light bulb will come on. Let's find out. First, we're gonna test the acid, and the light comes on. That means the HCl actually dissociated into the H plus and the Cl minus. Here we're testing the ethanol. Mm, no luck, the ethanol uh, doesn't connect a current because it's a molecule. It doesn't fall apart into ions. There are no ions. Here we have copper sulfate. It's an ionic compound. When you dissolve ionic compounds, they not only become aqueous, the ions move away from each other and they have mobile ions. Nothing with the ethanol. Yes with the acid and yes with the ionic. So when we do net ionic equations, we're going to separate acids that are aqueous and ionic compounds that are aqueous.